Rising heat and humidity are the main features of the weather today across many parts of the UK, particularly for England and Wales. Not quite as hot for Scotland and for Northern Ireland as it was yesterday. Now today we could see temperatures as high as 34 degrees under the blue skies. And with all that sunshine, the hottest place in the London region. Bonnie, what was that sound like you said? Oh, I don't want to be like so good. Oh, none of that at the wedding. We really like, we were always like, oh, I hate the sun. Put an arm. To my darling Jen, this is the fourth letter I've written and I can't seem to find the right words to describe how I feel about you. I can't believe today is finally here. You have made me a better man and even though life hasn't always made it easy for us, you've always been there to help and guide us through what we need. You are the best person I know and the single greatest thing that has ever happened to me. And although I should be scared or nervous about today, I'm not. I'm more excited about the next phase of our life together. Jen, you've made me so happy over the last 15 years, and if I could relive it a thousand times, there isn't a single bit of it I would change. I love you now and forever. All my love, Nick. My dearest Nick, we have been in each other's lives for many years and throughout that time you have been my friend, my confidant, my critic, my supporter, my family. You are my constant. You have been there for me through the successes, failures, the highs, the lows and whatever life has thrown at us. We have always been honest with each other and never gone to bed angry. But most importantly, we have never given up on each other. That is why I want to marry you, because I know that whatever we encounter, I will be able to face it with you by my side. So, <laughs> 15 years ago, Nick and Jen met, and Nick was like, do you know what? She's all right. <laughs> but their, their story is one of sacrifice for each other. Jen was away in Lancaster, and Nick went whenever he could, all the time, up to Lancaster, he drove 300 miles there, and then Nick decided, do you know what, 300 miles isn't far enough, so I'm going to top them off to Afghanistan for six months. <laughs> <laughs> and Jen was like, you know what, that's cool, I'll send you some care packages, have some Haribo, you know, do your thing. So they, they gave a lot for each other, they made sure that they were always there for each other, which is just unreal to me, like they just absolutely sacrificed themselves for each other to make sure they were there. And since then it's gotten from strength to strength, they've been the absolute ideal of love that I've seen throughout my whole entire life. It's ridiculous how much they love each other. I, Nicholas Jump, take you, Antonina Jennifer, to be my wife. To have and to hold, from this day forward, for better, for worse, for richer, for poorer, in sickness and in health, to love and to cherish, to death and to power. I give you this ring as a sign of our marriage. With my body, I honour you. All that I am, I give to you. And all that I have, I share with you. Believe it or not, we've been together that long and Mum actually used to make my packed lunches as well and send them in. Uh, <laughs> I used to get little salami sandwiches, it was brilliant. Uh, but we always knew this day was coming and looking back there's not a single thing had changed. And it's been absolutely lovely being with you for all these years, you've made my life complete. Yeah, everything to me, I love you to bits and you look incredible. Uh, I love you.
So there's some, something I've been meaning to say to Nick, and I'm sure many other people have been. So on behalf of myself and anyone else who hasn't got around to it yet, it's about time. <laughs> Good job.